Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Marley and I'm back with my roommates, of course. Yay! My name is Jasmine. <laughs> Good job, Jasmine. No, that's actually right. Because oh. I always want you guys to introduce yourself. <laughs> what? Yay! My name's Jasmine. <laughs> Hi, I'm Olivia. Today's video is going to be pros and cons of UCLA slash like kind of any big public school. What it's really like to go to the number one public university in the nation. Also, disclaimer, this is just our experience and we don't this is the only school we've been to, the only college we've been to, so. What do we really know? Yeah. yeah, this is pretty much based on like our experience in the past two quarters. One of them being half online. And we're gonna post this video like right when decisions come out. And hopefully we see you at UCLA next year. Yeah! We overall love it here. Would recommend to anyone. Yes. 100% agree. Overall but also like, away. there are pros and cons and it's not for everyone. Even if it's a pro to me, it might be a con to you, if that makes sense. So like, it's a characteristic that I was looking for at a college, but that might not mean that's what you're looking for. And that's totally fine. That's why there's lots of different kinds of colleges. So let's go ahead and start off. The school spirit is very high. Every day when I walk around campus, I see countless kids wearing UCLA t-shirts and hats and jackets and sweatpants. When I'm walking around, you know, in my hometown and stuff, I'll see people wearing UCLA stuff, like alumni yeah. and all that sort of thing. And along with the school spirit is that like the sporting events are super fun. People want to go to the football games. They want to go to the basketball games. Hey, I watched the women's tennis team play ASU yeah. and it was so good. It was so, so like good. the school spirit is very high. You know, people paint their faces for the games and like it's all out. So it's like very fun. And if you like school spirit and you like sports then this would like be a good school for you okay so <laughs> the next one is actually huge for me is the weather <laughs> i think that's a big thing for all of us when i was yeah. looking at schools and a lot of people like, i yeah. was looking at schools on the east coast Same. and i don't know what i was thinking mm -hmm. like when it rains here <laughs> I, it's raining I, once I, let's someone, be clear when it rains someone asks in the group me <laughs> do we still have class today <laughs> Literally, I could pull up the receipts. <laughs> and so that's like a huge thing. We could, we literally went to the beach in the middle of winter and it was multiple times. Yeah. Mm. The weather here, it's rarely too hot and it's rarely too cold. Yeah. It's just like perfect. Perfect. Yeah. Well, my, like when we were online, yeah. I did my classes outside. Mm -hmm. There are also just like so many outdoor spaces here for people to work and study and like play games. And it's just really nice. Mm -hmm. yeah. The area we're in is called Westwood and it's very, very nice. There's a lot of restaurants, um, lots of like ice cream places and like boba places and all that sort of thing. Trader you know, Joe's. Yeah, like Target, Ralph's, any CVS, like any sort of store you would need. So Westwood is super nice. And like, just, you just walk down right from campus. I used to spend, you know, so much time every day walking around the neighborhoods next to UCLA. Right behind our campus is Bel Air and Holmby Hills, which are neighborhoods in Beverly Hills. And they're super, super nice. LA is really cool because there's so much to do. You know, whether we're going to the beach on the weekends or we're going to downtown, or there's a place in Japantown that a lot of UCLA students go that has a ton of cool restaurants. Um, there's just like a lot of fun things to do, you know, Hollywood, Melrose, and you'll never feel like you're just in your little like college bubble because you can always get out of it whenever you want and explore so many like diverse and interesting places. When you dream about what it would look like if you were on a classic college campus, that is like kind of the experience that I think we get here. There are countless kinds of people here and people from different backgrounds and different interests. You constantly are meeting new people and there's always a new group that you can get involved in. Career clubs, there's just like for fun clubs there's sports clubs something for everyone whenever my family visits me they always joke that like you can never be bored here because there's always a group doing something or people mm -hmm. hanging out or there's like just because it's such a big school you can kind of always find things to do also you can see this as a pro or a con but yeah. if you walk down Bruin walk you will be harassed <laughs> by like 10 different clubs and like it's nice um sometimes it exposes you to new things that you went to know you were <laughs> yeah no it is fun like it is so yeah that totally is a pro or a con like it's a pro that there's so many options and a lot of people also get a little bit overwhelmed by how many options there are like they you can join anything there's literally a club that's called sampling club and they sample other clubs so they, they're a club that goes to try other clubs together no matter what you have a community that you can find you just gotta look for it also, sometimes they sell churros to raise money on Broonwalks, so I always buy them. So that's a pro, but if they're not selling churros, then I always go around the flyering people because I hate Today, them. the flyering people gave me a free Diddy Reese cookie. Like, oh, wow. 
it was so solid. If you are in state, this is definitely a good financial decision for you. Just like any other in state public school, it's like the same price. It might be like a little more or a little less than some other UCs or CSUs. Um, but definitely, you know, less costly than private schools, um, less costly than going out of state, even like my full cost of coming here for one year is like less than the tuition at an out-of-state school. Put those tax dollars to good use if you're a California person. We all live at the top of a hill, so it's not separated by... I have visited other campuses and talked to my friends in other living situations, and I definitely think that the way that we have the hill set up is one of the better formats of like on-campus living mm -hmm. for residents mm -hmm. and so pretty much what that means is the first two years the majority of students live on campus any classroom so everyone is mixed together you're meeting people from all different majors and that also I think helps you meet a lot of different people from different programs and also if I have a friend who doesn't live in my dorm or right next to me I'm two minutes of a walk away from them, no matter where they live. And I can get food with anyone, anytime, because we're all going to the same dining halls. You're seeing the same people on your paths. You're going to the same mail room. Like everyone is just so close knit in this living area that it's just, it's so awesome. I literally, I could talk about the hill for hours. If you're really interested in living with people that are similar to you, there are some living True. learning communities. That's like when it's sorted by like people yeah. that are similar to you. So you can like sign up for one. And it's like everyone on that floor has similar interests or similar hobbies or similar backgrounds. School life from home life in a way, because mm -hmm. campus is down there. Like if you're gonna go to class, you're mm -hmm. going down there. When you're back here, you're at home. And yeah, you're doing work in both places and you're eating in both places. But there's just this idea of, oh, I'm back on the hill, I'm back home. And this is kind of like that space and it kind of just separates the two. Like you're not like working in the same space, which I think is really special. So UCLA is ranked number one dining hall in the nation. I'm pretty sure people will debate us on that. Um, I know like Cornell has something to say about it, but from my understanding, mm, we're ranked Duke. number one. A Duke? Yeah, I know there's a girl on TikTok who's from Duke's Yale who Duke's like really claims good. they're really good too, but UCLA has the title, so I don't know. Um, but the food is incredible and as someone who's vegetarian and I try to be gluten-free as much as possible I still have really good options here. There's always something I can eat no matter what dining hall I go to They brought in food trucks. So now we're getting LA street food for our meal plan, which is really cool Like they they just bring in random food trucks from the middle of LA and they bring in like guest chefs to some of our Dining halls and they like do pop-ups Everything is so close, so if my friends don't want the same thing as me, they can go to one dining hall, I'll go to another, and we meet up and we do like takeout. When I was coming into college, I really had no idea what I wanted to do. So I entered as an applied math major, but it's actually really easy at UCLA to switch majors, especially within the College of Letters and Sciences, which is where most of our majors are. So like I entered as an applied math major and I decided I wanted to switch to statistics. And pretty much all it is, is I say, Actually, I want to switch to statistics, <laughs> and then I'm now statistics. That's... It is a bit harder if you want to switch to a different school, like the School of Engineering is separate, but it's still very doable. Yeah. So that's a big thing if you're not decided exactly what you want to do. So I didn't know what exactly I wanted to major in, and it really scared me to feel like I was going into a school where I had to stay in that major. I wanted to go to a place that like really valued me exploring my interests. It wasn't even like necessarily that I was going to change, it was just that that was the mindset that they had for my education. The Greek life here is really fun, but it's definitely not a big Greek life school, so if you're not interested in Greek life, you don't have to be in a sorority or a fraternity but it's definitely fun um i'm in a sorority like a panhellenic sorority rush was really fun and i really enjoy going to my sorority's events and meeting a lot of girls and i'm like gonna live in the house next year we do have a classic sorority and fraternity row with houses and we also have a lot of um interest fraternities too so we have like pre-law pre-med some christian sororities and fraternities latinx sorority and a latinx fraternity as well as an asian american sorority too but again you won't feel left out if you don't want to do greek life it is super present if you want it to be and it also doesn't have to be at all and that's a pretty big balance that not every school has the resources that we have here are incredible i was walking into the student activity center the other day 
and I literally just stumbled upon community outreach programs and it's literally just programs that specialize in all different sectors of campus and student life. So there's like a Latinx room, there was an LGBTQ room, there was like a fitness and health room, there's a math help room, there's a reading of success room, there's a computer lab. You can print things for free in there. Oh, like a food pantry that's restocked every single hour. That There's also free tampons in there, there's shampoo and conditioner in there. Sunset Rec, we have that, that has lap pools you can swim in, it has volleyball courts you can play on, and then that's just separate from then the other lap pool that you can use in the student activity center. And the undergraduate writing center has been huge for me, humanities major, so I write a lot of essays for school. I find it really helpful to have like peer reviews or at least talk through my ideas, like drop in appointments with the undergraduate writing center, and they will go through your entire paper with you, give you advice on your thesis, they'll tell you like, oh, this makes no sense, whatever. It's really, really, really helpful, and I've used it for every paper I've written. So every class has the professor and then there's like TAs that teach the discussion sections and at first I was a little nervous because I was like if I'm not learning from the professor like my quality of education won't be as good but actually the TAs are so knowledgeable about the subjects like there's also LAs which are learning assistants which are in a lot of the classes so there are students who have previously taken the class and are there as kind of extra tutors for students who need it and I have literally been in a class where I was the only student there and there were four LAs and one TA. So yeah, as much as you hear about large class sizes, I wouldn't worry too much. And there's also so many students here that there are so many free tutoring resources. Mm -hmm. So I and don't lots of think- kids in your class will work with you too. Like facts, study you will not have a problem like getting help in your classes. I, I think I have gone to office hours and I'm really proud to be able to say this for every single professor I've had since I've been here like at this school because I don't think that everyone takes advantage of it. My professors have begged my class to come to office hours because they want to talk to you. They want to get to know you. They want to meet their students and help their students. I literally have professors who remember me and I'll say hi to them when I'm on campus and they're like, oh, hey, Morley. So the whole like big school, like your professors don't know you. If you make an effort, they definitely do know you and they definitely do care for my first quarter at college. I had a class with 15 people total um, and it was a writing course so like obviously it's gonna be smaller but even in such a large school in my first quarter I already had a smaller class. People want to be here. A lot of people this is their dream school and they're very excited to come here so it gives people this like enthusiasm. There are a lot of like different experiences that people have based you know there's like a, a lot of minorities at this school too um, who have different experiences um, on like the inclusiveness of this school. So when I say like everyone loves this school, I do think people do have an enthusiasm for it. And that's so awesome and makes it really fun. But also some people might have different experiences. Yeah. Um, it's fun being at a school that so many people want to go to. Mm -hmm. I think we have like one of the most beautiful campuses of yes. any school like and yes. I stand by that I will go to class and then just spend like hours after class walking around campus or just like working on campus like I just cannot get enough of like walking enough. there's just like libraries there's always a place for you to study there are so many places to eat it's just like oh, a yes. great place I could spend all day there go down there and I'll take naps, I'll read my book, I'll hang out with friends, like, on campus, because it's just, like, it's, like, a nice, it's a nice place to be. Yeah. And we have a botanical garden, and, and it's, a like, a sculpture garden. We also have a sculpture garden. Very relaxing. And it's about it's, ten libraries. We have the quintessential, like, college Ivy League looking library, but then we also have the more, like, modern ones with lots of outlets and, like, yeah. little cubicles and, like, Anderson School of there's, Management area. There's, regardless of where you like to work, whether that's in cafes, libraries, outside, anything, there's a place for you to work. It is very expensive to have a car here, and so a lot of people don't. If you have, like, a medical need to be able to, like, get to appointments, or if you have, like, I don't know, a special circumstance with a job where you need to be able to commute, um, you can pretty easily get a permit, a parking permit. And if you want to park pretty much anywhere in LA, you have to pay to park. So LA is not the most walkable city. It's no New York, you know, just like to clarify, I think some people think it is like New York. It's not. But the public transportation here is better than a typical like suburb area. Um, and they're constantly like LA is always like expanding their public transportation too. So it's like getting better. But taking the bus is really cheap, very, um, like easy you can use like apple maps and google maps to like tell you what buses to get on what lines to go um and yeah like i said it's really cheap way cheaper than having a car there are really incredible professors here like i have a professor right now who is 
absolutely one of my favorite people I've ever met and genuinely like as cheesy as it sound like sparked a passion for me in a certain subject that's so cute and so that is like a great experience I literally go to every single office hours because like I just cannot get enough of like hearing about them and but on the other end of the spectrum I have had terrible professors where I did not attend a single lecture because I <laughs> genuinely just like could not follow anything that was going on this is a thing at most colleges, but some professors that are there are doing research at the same time. So they don't really care about teaching. They mainly care about the research, which is why they might not be the best at teaching. They could be, they're probably so smart and like cool people, but when it comes to actual teaching, it's not the best. But like Jasmine touched on before, the TAs are great and will help you but just know that in, it, it's every school that has this like enrollment is really difficult each quarter it happens and it happens when you're in like the seventh week of your quarter so you're barely into the quarter and you're already planning the next quarter which is kind of a lot to handle and then in addition to that since it is such a big school at least in my major I don't really have direct counseling so I kind of have to do mm -hmm. it on my own I know that some engineers have like a pretty laid out schedule but for me I'm kind of just thrown into it and told you know you run your door you'll figure it out and play around on your own and see what requirements you haven't fulfilled everything fills up really fast and as freshmen we don't get priority enrollment i'm just taking all ge's like i know for a fact this is a thing at other schools but we're just going to bring it up is that guys have a very hard time getting into parties if you are a girl you have nothing to worry about is that i know some schools for girls you have to be in a sorority to get into mm -hmm. most of the parties here it is not like that at all. Parties like clubs, um, fundraisers. We'll have parties that like at people's apartments and stuff that you can pay to go to. We've had a huge problem this year of our gyms being packed. Like you go in there and there is not a single machine open. Everyone's getting at fit. Times. We do have three gyms here. We have a gym that's for all students, a gym that's just for grad students, and then a gym that's for undergrads. And they do they are nice. Like there are a lot of facilities, but the main thing that is the reason we put it in the cons is they are just packed. Living in LA, the rent is really, really crazy. Third and fourth year, we're probably gonna wanna live in an apartment off campus. And to get an apartment off campus that has a good lease, who's that's reputable and not insanely expensive and not too far from campus so you can still walk is a struggle. Like you have to know someone who's a year or two older, who's graduating, who you can like get the lease from. There can be a lot of pressure here. I will say the community here is really incredible and I don't, there's no downwards curving um, in a majority of classes. So it's not like that competitive between you and your peers, but it can still be a lot of pressure because people here are overachievers. For me personally, it's been incredibly stressful because I always feel like I'm behind, you know? I feel like I'm not in enough clubs. I feel like I'm not, you know, I'm not working enough. I'm not taking hard enough classes. My grades aren't good enough because all these other people around me are seemingly always doing more. Know yourself and what motivates you and what kind of shuts you down. Personally, I am not like super involved. And I think I just have a different experience from Olivia because like when other people are super involved and I'm not, it doesn't really bother me. Like I don't necessarily compare myself. So that's another thing. Like just cause you're not an overachiever doesn't mean you will feel like you need to be. Yeah, obviously you're not gonna choose a different school because the Rose Bowl is far away, but it's just like a kind of annoying little feature about our school is like you have bus. to take an hour long bus The ride. Rose Bowl is very nice though. Yeah. So we're we have this shopping. thing called the Reuter bus, which you can get with your Den Pass. It's like an extra $10, but it does take like an hour to get there. So a lot of schools, they have like tailgates and parties and they just like all walk to the game together and you're just there. So it is like a full extra ordeal. And if it's a night game, like we had some games that started at like 7.30 or 8. Yeah. You will be going back on the Reuter bus at like midnight and yeah. it is freezing and you get back to campus at like one, like one in the mornings. And when you buy a Den Pass, which is basically like season tickets to the football games and the basketball games, you are not gar guaranteed a seat in the basketball games because Poly Pavilion, which is where our games are played, they only reserve about like 1,500 to 1,800 student seats. And this year we had 9,000 people buy a Den Pass. 9,000. And keep in mind, like for a lot of games, this is not a problem. I can tell you right now, 9,000 kids are not trying to go to a UCLA versus like Chico State game, like top 25 matchups that, you know, if you want to get into the game because there's 9,000 other people who have a ticket, but they only have 1,500 spots, you have to wait in line for like 
12 hours and they have figured out some systems this year so it has gotten drastically better since the beginning of the year so and like, it can be kind of fun because you wait in line all day with your friends so like one yeah. or two times in your life it can be an enjoyable experience yeah i mean like i personally i'm a really big basketball fan so this is like no qualm to me like i will wait in line for 25 hours to see the basketball game like i don't care but yeah just know like you can't just like waltz into like a game against like a number two and a number three. And then the very last thing, this is really well known I think, but UCLA is really hilly and really spread out. So you walk a lot, which is good. <laughs> Campus is really pretty. The weather's usually nice, but like I get so tired from walking to and from class. If I have to go to like a class that's just like one hour and I have to go on campus for just one hour, I'm so irritated that I have to walk like a mile to my class and sit in there for one hour and then walk a mile back. like very annoying yeah but, we literally um, have to go to Hillel tonight and i'm realizing yeah. that it's 6 35 and like we have to walk all the way across campus it's gonna take a million years to walk from like <sighs> oh but if you have walking. any other questions comment them down below and we will answer them but hopefully you got most of your information again these are all just like our opinions after two quarters here at ucla having like not necessarily all that much information on other schools and um i think that's kind of it so hopefully you enjoyed, hopefully you learned something new, hopefully we'll be seeing you next year when you come to UCLA because you thought all the pros were so good and the cons weren't even that bad and you got into the school and so now you're going to come hang out with us. Yeah, up, baby. We'll see you in another video. I love UCLA and yeah. basketball. Bye.